Are you winning, son? So before we get started, I'm just going to say, starting this week, I think around Friday is when it delivers, I'm getting a whole new desktop setup that I'm going to be using to make even better videos more efficiently, quickly, and make them look gorgeous. Now, onto this. So, I'm pretty sure by now you guys have heard of all the Last of Us 2 drama. So, before we get started, I have not played the game, so there we go. We have verified that my opinion does not matter, but I'm going to tell you mine anyway. So, here we go. Time to explore the video game that's been causing so much drama lately. This is Last of Us 2, The Adventures of the Demisexual Trans Crocodile. So, what was I doing instead of playing this game? Watching She-Ra? Alright, I'm gay! Deal with it. God. So, after the demigender crocodile killed Joel, I'm pretty sure the internet reacted poorly. I'm not sure. Let me check. I, I'm not doing this. I'm I'm good. I fucked it. Get this. It's gonna be so edgy. We'll have a fucking a. Two girls having sex and smoking weed, and then right after, let's kill Joel! Ship it! Let's go, boys! Like, it's insane! It's actually insane! That's literally what they thought! It's gonna be a banger! But guys, I have some amazing, absolutely mind-blowing philosophical information to lay down on you that this game has taught me. Did you know that killing is bad? <laughs> Shut up, or I'm replacing your premium oil with unleaded. So, now let's see. What happens when I search Neil Druckmann into Google? <laughs> alright then, great, mazel tov. So, what exactly happened that pissed off most people about this game? Well, from what I can gather, they killed Joel in a very unflattering way, despite using him in a lot of the promotional material. Abby sucks, and no one gives a fuck about her. Okay, let me see if I can do a quick recap of the story that will leave you all completely satisfied. So, Daddy Neil wanted to make a Last of Us game, but he didn't want to make it as good as the first one. You know how it is. The two lesbians scissor and get super stoned, and after that, Ronda Rousey and her ragdag gang of boogie boogies have an orgy, then decide, let's kill Joel. So they then fuck Joel to death, and Ellie makes it her mission to become the princess of power and go on an ethnic cleansing, brutally slaughtering everyone Ronda Rousey holds near and dear to her heart. She goes to kill Ronda, but realizes, killing bad. So they walk off into the sunset and have a beefy lesbian romance together. The end. Did I get it right? Oh, fuck. Well, we already established that my opinion doesn't matter on this matter, so I think we're fine. I'm sorry this video is short, but it's just going to be a small buffer before the next to larger video, which will be the Yandere Dev video collab with, I think, if my count is correct, about 12 other YouTubers. So that is going to be exceptionally fun. But first, I really, really would appreciate it if you guys go over and subscribe to the Spooky Butter channel, because I'm going to be doing a lot of spooky-related content on there. Um, creepypastas, horror movies, horror shows, stuff like that. And the production value of it is phenomenal, because Gary... Go, s go follow Gary on Twitter and call him awesome, because he is phenomenal. He's been working on this stuff with me for the last few days, and he has accomplished so much in two days. This channel was conceived last week, <laughs> the full idea was created, and the art has been getting worked on. And it's already almost done. So the first video will be out probably within a week or two. And it's going to be about the Lavender Town Syndrome. So if you guys could go subscribe over there, I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the Yandev video and in the first Spooky Butter video. 